It's Fantasia. So today we're gonna to be talking about infants once again because it is getting close. At least we think. Well, we know that it's early 2023, but a lot of people are predicting on Twitter that it's gonna be like right around the corner. And that's exactly what I thought in a recent video that I did. I noticed that the roadmap for 2022, the winter roadmap, which is the one that we're expecting very shortly, happened on January 5th. And it seems like the Sims team kind of likes to get things going as soon as the new year comes. You know, the holidays are over and they've been extra quiet. I know they're like always, I guess, more quiet around the holiday times, but we didn't receive a usual update that we would receive like, an ho like a holiday update. That just never happened, like, you know. However, if it's because they're preparing for like a big reveal, then I'm completely okay with that. So yeah, in my last video, I mentioned how they've just been like, well, my last like discussion video about infants I mentioned how they've just been quieter and of course like the Sims team they have families they celebrate you know the holidays with their families and everything like that so it's usually like a little more quiet but like it was just extra and it's been that way for like a little longer than usual as well so pulling up this photo again you can see here we got the winter roadmap at the beginning of January 2022 and now it's about to be January 5th again and keep in mind that January 5th is a Thursday and a lot of times we'll get announcements on Tuesdays or Thursdays. Sometimes it's different. We'll randomly get one on a Friday, but like a lot of times I see it on a Tuesday or a Thursday. So there's definitely like a pattern there and I feel like it's going to happen guys. And okay. So the reason I wanted to make this video is because I keep seeing people like everywhere talk about how, you know, they just dropped toddlers on us out of nowhere. We got no warning. Like there was no hints, no nothing. So I think that's going to happen again. And I think we all need to definitely keep a close eye out definitely you know be checking their twitters and everything so you could be one of the first ones to see it because if they're gonna drop it unexpectedly that probably means that like none of the game changers will have it early or anything like that we never really get updates early anyways but like yeah i know nothing none of the i don't think any of the game changers know anything like guys we have all of us have no idea when this is happening and i think i don't know because it's something so big i felt like there would be talk about it by now or like some sort of like I don't know, just like a little bit of more information and there hasn't been. So I'm assuming they're just going to drop it on us out of nowhere. So like every single day I'm waking up and like instantly checking the Sims Twitter. <laughs> so if you're not doing that, definitely start doing that because you never know. And usually things drop. Well, my time is usually like 11 a.m. ish. So yeah, I've been trying to just keep on checking because you never know when it's going to happen. And when it does happen, I'm going to make a video right away. So I think it's going to be happening this week. I could be completely wrong. Obviously, it's hard to know because we might be feeling like, oh, there's no freaking way. They haven't said anything. Like it's not going to be this week. But I think that's the point. I think they're doing that on purpose. Like I could be completely wrong. Maybe they're going to drop a winter roadmap and it's just going to have more hints about infants. Maybe like we get an idea of when they might be coming. But then at the same time, what if they just drop infants and the winter roadmap like at the same time? So then we get hints for like, you know, the expansion packs coming and all of that stuff, updates. And then we just get the infant update right then and there. I think that would be so cool, you guys. I think if it doesn't happen this week, it'll be next week. But I do feel like Simmers, like, I don't know. I, it's like we always get some sort of sense of things. I feel like a lot of Simmers in the community predict when things are going to happen. Some of you guys have even commented on my videos in the past, like, I'll make a discussion video about, like, a pack that I want to see or something or a pack that I think is coming, then you guys will go back to that video like a year or two later and be like, you predicted it, it happened. And it's so weird how that happens. Like, I feel like we just get this feeling. <laughs> like, we just sense these vibes. Like, literally, nobody will know. Like, the Sims team is not telling anyone. The game changers don't know anything. And then it's just like, we're all guessing it correctly. So if we're wrong, I'm going to be shocked because even just today, the amount of people that I saw predicting that it's going to happen this week and it's only Monday. So I mean, and then I'm like, oh my God, tomorrow's Tuesday. Like what if it's Tuesday? <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, that's so fast. I feel like I need to prepare. There was like videos that I wanted to release before that happens. And now I'm like, do I even film them? Because what if they're just gonna, like, I don't know. There's a couple of videos that I want to do that have to, like, it would only make sense for me to post them before the infant update. I'm not going to like explain all that. Probably makes no sense. But if they like drop the update tomorrow, Thursday, like I need to hurry. And if it's, t if it's tomorrow, which I, eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. 
Uh, maybe. But, like, I just feel like maybe they'll purposely go in the same pattern as last year and, like, drop the road. But then what if they drop infants on Tuesday and then the roadmap on Thursday, which would be January 5th? I don't know, guys. Like, I just wanted to come on here and just talk because this is my first video of the new year. I'm going to be filming, like, some actual, like, in-game videos very shortly. But... I don't know. It's the new year. By the way, happy new year, guys. Like, what the heck? <laughs> it's January 2nd. I took January 1st off to just kind of like, you know, write down ideas for videos I want to do, kind of like prepare everything I want to do for the start of the year. I just thought before I get into like actual gameplay videos, I would come on here and just talk about this because I feel like it's an exciting thing. Like, we're finally in 2023. We are in the year that they said infants are coming. Like, I'm so freaking excited. But yeah, like, what the heck? Like, I just thought of that just now. What if so they usually release things on like Tuesdays or Thursdays. What if they release something on a Tuesday and then Thursday? Like we get infants and then the roadmap. I don't know. I don't know if they would like drop both of those so quickly. I don't know. I just feel like they want to make us all freak the hell out. That's what I'm gathering because like from the Sims Summit, that's like kind of what they also did. They left us with so many unanswered questions. Like they wanted us to be on our toes. Like they wanted to keep us on our toes for sure. They were like, we're just gonna like you know, drop little hints here and here. And we're not going to tell you anything about it. And we're not going to tell you when these things are coming. We're just going to tell you that they're 2023. And then we did find out that the infants are coming early 2023 from a sim guru. So that is confirmed. I've mentioned that a bunch of times. So usually when I mention that, then you guys ask me like, what date are they coming? We don't know that yet. We just know that it's early 2023. A lot of people are worried it'll be later. I talked about this already, so I'm not going to go too much in that. I've even like expressed my concerns like, oh my gosh, what if it's not till March? Because I feel like January, February, March is like early 2023. But I don't know, you guys, I'm getting this feeling. I'm getting this feeling. And I have predicted so many things. So if I'm wrong, this time though, it is hard. Like I could be wrong because I feel like in the past when I've predicted things, it's like stuff that we've gotten little hints for, or there's been like a survey for it things like that. So then I just like have this strong feeling that it's actually gonna happen. Like, but this time it's almost like we're all excited and we're just hoping for, it and like, they've been quiet. So we're like, okay, it has to be something soon. Like we're officially in 2023. The holidays are officially over. So it's like, okay, like I just, I don't know. I think something's gonna happen. And like, I can't help but think about toddlers and how they just dropped that on us. And I think they know that that was such an amazing day in the community. That's another thing. Before I like go more into that, let Let's do our notification shout out. And this one goes to Yazabella. Happy new year to you too. I hope it's been treating you well so far. I hope you had a good new year's day and new year's eve. I hope all of you guys did. And thank you so much for your comments. If you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So anyways, back to what I was saying, like when they just dropped the toddlers on us, it was out of nowhere. They didn't like hype anything up beforehand. I'm pretty sure actually when that happened, my sleep schedule was messed up and I had woken up like an hour after and I had no idea and I was getting all these text messages from my friends like Rachel wake up <laughs> we have toddlers and I was like wait what like I literally the first image I saw of them was actually from a text message from my friend like I just saw photos and I was like wait what and I literally jumped out of bed went to go film a video it was the most exciting day of my life the feeling of seeing a new life stage in the game is like nothing compares I can't explain it like if you were there if you played the sims before toddlers were there and then you experience them releasing and like opening your game for the first time even like seeing the first screenshot of toddlers it was the best feeling ever like I have to say that beats anything and there's been a lot of good releases in The Sims 4 but that still for me that's like top tier comment down below if you agree with that so I feel like it would only make sense for them to do that again like let's repeat that cycle that was something good let's just like like shock everyone, you know, like I feel like that would be the best way to go because it does seem like the infants are going to be good because personally, I feel like toddlers are really good. There's some things that I feel like could be better, like maybe a couple more interactions or a couple, a couple more like objects, but I do feel like they're great. Like I have the most fun with them out of any toddlers we've ever had just based on the little teaser clip we got. I do think these infants, like, you know, we've never had infants. We've just had like newborns but in the past newborns have had a little more detail <laughs> like in the sims 2 we could give them a bath in the sink even you know we could walk around with them in the past but we've never had like a true infant stage which is what comes after newborns i just feel like they are not going to disappoint here not to mention there's nothing to compare to which i think is an amazing thing they got to just do everything they wanted to do with infants without worrying about like what a previous sims game had because i feel like a lot of times that could be a worry you know all of us who have played since the beginning we might be like why is this not like why is this so much 
worse than it was in this Sims game. Which like not to compare, but obviously when you're like in the fourth generation, you're like, oh my God, this feature was so much better in The Sims 2, what happened? That can kind of suck. So in this case, like the fact that we've never had infants, like crawling, play pens, baby gates, like those are things we saw. And I'm wondering like what else they'll be. There's so many different things that could be there. I don't know if you're not familiar with babies, like, you know, the different stages, definitely like Google things that infants do and like, you know, all of that, then you can kind of like get an idea of what infants might have. It's that stage where they start to do more, but you know, it's not quite as much as a toddler. And I just, oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. So I really hope they just drop it unexpectedly. Until then, I probably won't have any more videos about infants. I'm gonna possibly have a couple videos that have to do with some other things that are like baby related. I'm not gonna say anything else about that, but anyways, I'm not gonna have any more like discussion videos when it comes to infants because I feel like I wanted to do this video just because I feel like they're coming this week. So, you know, I wanted to remind you guys that that might happen and like, let's get the hype up. And it's okay to get your, it's okay to be hype right now because even if they don't drop it this week, it's coming regardless. So I feel like at this point, like, we don't have to contain our excitement. At least, okay, I never do that. I Sometimes I do say like, I'm gonna try not to get too excited. Some people tell me, girl, you're getting way too excited. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm not the type to just like, say something disappoints me. I'm not the type to just like, let it ruin my whole week and just be annoyed. Like, obviously I'm gonna express my disappointments with you guys, but it is a game at the end of the day. At the end of the day. So I'm someone that I'm just like, I'm gonna enjoy being excited about something. Like, you know, be excited about what the expansion pa expansion packs might be. And if they end up being something that I'm not that excited for, that's okay. Like, I, I don't know. I just like to enjoy, like, being happy about my favorite game and, like, expressing that to you guys. That's just, like, how I am. I don't like worrying about, like, the what ifs with this. I just like to, you know, just be pumped for what could come and all of that. And then, you know, when the time comes, if it's something I'm, like, meh about, then I'll just talk to you guys about it. For me, it's like not the biggest deal. So but when it comes to infants, like I already know they're gonna be good, even if they're not as good as I'm hoping, like I already know I'm gonna get joy out of them regardless. So like, yeah, I'm I'm getting as much hype as I want. I'm being so excited and I, I can't wait. Like I literally can't wait. And if it's not this week, well then I'm just gonna be excited for the next week and the next week and the next week. <laughs> So I feel like at this point, it's completely okay to just be excited every week and just hope they're coming every week. And there's no need to get disappointed because they are coming and that's super exciting. So anyways, you guys keep on checking The Sims Twitter. I mean, even when they do tweet about it, I'll be retweeting it. I'll be making a video. But if you want to know right away, then follow The Sims on Twitter and turn the notifications on because I definitely think this is something we're going to want to see right away. I'm really hoping there's some sort of video that they show when they drop the news like of like I don't know, an infant doing something more than just crawling because I'm really curious. I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for this year and you know, all the things that might release in The Sims 4. Do you guys think this is going to be a good year for The Sims 4? Comment down below. I have a good feeling and I'm going to go with that good feeling even if it ends up being a bummer. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed it, because you're all having an amazing, amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The night is young. So let's have some fun If you